All right, so in this section, what I want to talk about are two things. One is fading audio, either in, out, or just kind of dropping it to the background. Um, and then two, I want to talk very briefly about compressing audio. Uh, compressing audio we'll talk about in just a second. Let's talk about fading um, in and fading out audio. There are basically two ways that you can do this. One is I can double click on the audio to bring it into the editor. And then what I would do is select the space where I want to fade in with my cursor, so right here at the beginning. This is nice to sort of fade in audio right at the beginning. Now look, we're, we're barely at one second, so this is a very, very short, quick fade. But the nice thing about it is that you fade in that sort of white noise of the room. So like, listen to this room right now. You hear a lot of white noise, and it can be jarring if you start the report just with that noise. So what I'm going to do here is um, highlight that audio that I want to fade in, and then go, I can even go favorites, and do fade in. And you notice it didn't really make much of a change. Three, two. In spring of 2008. But it did actually fade that in. So now when I go over here. In spring of. Oops. Um, so that's one way to do it. The second way to do it is to hover over the um, this sort of pale yellow line in the multi-track editor. And then wherever you click, you're going to create what's called a keyframe. So see how I click there and it made this little blue dot? I'm going to click again right here. So now I've made two keyframes. See these little things right there? I made those on that pale yellow line in the uh, multi-track editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and grab one of these and bring it down to, you know, basically bring it down to zero. So now we're fading from zero all the way up to the volume that we want to be at, and then we're keeping the rest of the clip at that volume. In spring of 2018, Boston... In spring of 2018, Boston University's College of... So that's helpful if... Now, say, for example, let's pretend that this clip here is, um, is Nat Sound. So what we would want to do then... I'm going to actually just undo everything. What we would want to do then is have our Nat Sound play for a little bit. In spring of 2018... And then what would we want to do? We would want to bring it down, right? So we'd create one, two keyframes, and then bring this down to a lower level, usually somewhere around minus 18, minus 20 or so. You really have to listen to it depending on what level your NAT sound is. If your NAT sound is really loud, you're going to have to bring that down further. If your NAT sound is very soft, you're going to have to bring that down less. But what we've done here is we've now introed with NAT sound. In spring of 2018, Boston University's call... And you hear it drops down. We're actually going to have to drop this down a little bit more. Maybe down to negative 40. Boston University's College of Communication... So you can actually hear that the audio is dropped. We can go even go a little bit more. 18, Boston University's... And that almost makes it disappear. Boston University's College of Communication decided to remove... So that's really the best way to manage audio. Yes, you can certainly do it in the editor previously by highlighting it and uh, selecting. Let me just go back and show that again. By highlighting the audio and saying effects, favorites, fade in. And you'll actually see that'll manage it all for you. So we'll start at zero and fade up to its full volume there. Um, but I actually like doing it better in the multi-track window because you get a nice visual representation of it um, there and it's not doing anything to the original clip. Second thing I want to talk about is compressing audio. You might want to compress audio, so if I look at this clip, I see that it's got some really high peaks 
and some really low areas too. So like right here where he's talking, so right here where he's talking or right there where he's talking, it's pretty low, whereas up here is a, is a big peak. What multiband compressing does is it boosts the peaks a little bit, but it also boosts those valleys so that everything is a little bit more uniform. Let me show you what I mean. So in this clip, I'm going to go favorites, or I'm sorry, effects, multi amplitude and compression, and multiband compressor. And up here in the presets, I'm going to select um, let's try broadcast first. Computer labs uh, here at Com. Um, I think it's stupid to put it mildly. Um, given Com's scope in terms of the courses it offers, the lab was so you can actually play with it a little bit while it's while it's running. I'm going to hit play. This is the default. I and I'm going to go to broadcast. Think of a reason for getting rid of the computers besides. Now you can't really see it. You've got to do this a couple times to actually understand what's happening. But um, you'll notice as soon as I click apply, you'll see what's happening. Um, the other thing I want to do is I just want to bring the gain down a little bit because as you notice when I'm More playing this, to sit. see how it's all up here in the red. That's stupid because we spot. have a basement. We want to bring this down so it's not uh, where a lot of classes go unused. We have a whole campus. There where we, we can move some of the classes to. Now I'm just going to uh, click apply. And ever so subtly, what you've seen here is, remember how this first peak was really high up and everything else wasn't to that level? Now we've kind of adjusted things so that those low, those sort of low peaks are now something that's a little bit higher. Where we can move some of the classes to. Um, so yeah, I can't justify or rationalize why we'd get rid of the computers. What do you say to the... So it's not perfect, but what it, what it does is it makes it easier to listen to that audio. Sometimes you'll notice when you're editing a report that even though the levels are the same, one audio sounds louder than another. And compressing the audio is one way that you can kind of alleviate that. So I'm going to go back to my multi-track editor, and you can even see, or, see here on the track editor that we have Nick's voiceover that is kind of at that same level and then this one was sort of all over the place on levels so now when I play them back praise the move student opinions are mixed oh, at let's best. get rid of let's get rid of that volume adjustment the move student opinions are mixed at best given comms scope in terms of the courses it offers the lab was frequently used Given comms. So it's not perfect. I still need to tweak the audio here so that it's not peaking the entire time, and then um, go. we'll fix it. Yeah, question. Would you, ever, would you ever do some of that main editing in multi-track sessions, or would you do it just when you double-click into one of those that original files? Um, so just for the recording, the question was, should you always edit in multi-track, or should you do in... Or should you or, edit in multi-track? Should you edit in multi-track? Yeah. Should you edit in the editor? Um, it really depends on your workflow for sort of these basic projects. You can kind of interchange them. Um, I'm sure if you ask uh, someone who's a little bit further along in their audio editing career, they probably have much stronger opinions. But um, I think you can do it. You can do it either way. I think there, you only have access to certain controls in the editor versus the multi-track. Yeah, the only reason I say is because I know when you click onto the original file, you get the whole file again. Yes. The parts that you edited out, and that's kind of frustrating when I went back. So just to know that I can do that, and that's like not taboo. Yeah, let's see. Um, so in this clip here, let's see if I can just apply the compressor on here. Um, So it doesn't look like I can do it. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can apply certain effects in the multi-track editor as I can when I'm in the in the actual clip editor. Does that make sense? All right.